What did you notice happening at the very beginning? And then those of you that were met with success to lower the stick, how did you ultimately achieve that goal? An intensive two-day workshop on leadership styles, techniques, tips, and trappings provides students from the University of Kansas School of Engineering and School of Business with valuable skills as they work their way from the classroom to the workforce. The leadership challenge here at KU is a wonderful event for the students to attend. It is an event that has a lot of real-life practical application for the students, not only when they graduate, but while they're students. More than 35 engineering and 35 business students, primarily underclassmen, are selected to participate in Leadership Challenge, held for two days each year during KU's winter break. There are all types of leaders. You don't have to be a certain type of person to be an effective leader, but to understand that leadership comes in all styles and to really find what works for them. Leadership Challenge is led by Denny Farot, president of the Farot Group, a training, development, and coaching consulting firm which works to bring quality culture to organizations and quality performance to individuals. Denny's a very engaging speaker, very talented. You can tell he's genuinely interested in helping the students here improve to find what makes them happiness and how they can be successful. It's not just about putting on a program to a room of a couple hundred students. He's genuinely interested in seeing you develop as an individual. Farot leads interactive discussions and hands-on exercises to help students develop and hone leadership and interpersonal skills. It's all designed to give students the ability to capitalize on the strengths and improve the shortcomings of their individual leadership styles. He talked about the three kind of circles, which are your personality, your IQ, and your emotional intelligence, and how you can't really change your IQ or your personality, but your emotional intelligence you can work on and change and how it also has a dramatic effect on your life whether it's personal or professional. You need to learn to gauge your own emotions and realize you know if you're angry at this situation or you're uh, you know upset about this decision that you need to understand that you are angry you are upset and then you know not take rash reactions from those. It's not just students who stand to benefit from the experience of Leadership Challenge. Representatives from nearly 25 companies typically attend. It provides an opportunity to get to know the next generation of workers and refresh their own leadership skills. It's not something I did as a student, but I'm really glad I got the opportunity, especially as a fresh out, new hire, working at a company, first real job. This has been a real a nice focused look at, you know, what makes a leader and things that we do in our everyday life or things that we should focus more on that can make us better. I think this is a very important uh, opportunity for students. I hope that other students will take this challenge and and commit themselves to growing daily in their leadership skills. Leadership Challenge also provides a valuable first connection for students with potential employers. The first thing is obviously the networking and meeting with the company. Not only the network with the hopes of getting a job or making connections, but the simple fact that the more you do it, the better you're going to be at it. Students leave the two-day seminar feeling better prepared to meet the challenges of the professional world and play a leading role from the outset of their chosen career. And when you get here, you might think you're a good leader, but after you leave, you know, you'll feel a lot better about yourself. Um, you'll be able to use the skills and knowledge that you've learned here in the real life, and that's really important, being able to use what you've learned in real life situations.